Hey, everybody. Do you remember The Haunting of Hill House? Do you remember The Haunting of Bly Manor? Now, The Haunting of Hill House came out before I started my reaction channel. But I did react to Bly Manor. And uh, I enjoyed that a lot. Seeing all the ghosts in the background and all that stuff. So I've been waiting for the new The Haunting of show. I, have a, I was I kept checking, is there a new one? Is there a new one? And there hasn't been, but Midnight Mass flew under my radar. It was like, hmm? It's by the same guy. And potentially has some of the same cast. I'm not quite sure about that part. But I'm going to think of it as the third show in the Haunting of series. Whether or not there are ghosts or not. Whether or not there's hauntings or not. I'm expecting some sort of church service at midnight. Apart from that, I have no idea. Looking forward to getting into it. Is it I, I'm expecting it to be spooky. Otherwise, why are you setting it at midnight? Why are you setting it at midnight? I don't know what it's about, is what I'm saying to you. And I need to fix my radar, because... I need to point it down, because it flew under. Just point it at the ground. You should get some sonar. That's what I need to invest in. TV sonar. Hey, if you're new to my channel, hello. That was not the music I was expecting. Not at all. I don't even know what year it's set in. Someone crashed into Herbie. Twin Towers. Your hair softly falling. She, she okay? She's not okay. She's gonna, oh God, oh God. I are in heaven. Oh. I'll be that name. Ask him why he always takes the kids, while the drunk fucks walk away with scratches. Dude. It is the sentence of this court that you be incarcerated for a period of four to ten years in the custody of the Illinois hey. Department of Correction. There's a uh, Henry Thomas. Is one hundred and forty thousand nine hundred dollars eleven cents. What if you don't have that money? What happens? You don't? I don't have that money. Oh, that's his parent. That's his dad. Whew. seen this sort of shot before in uh, Hill House. No, oh, Jesus! That scared me. Like, legitimately. Freaking. Four years later. Ooh, an island. Crockett Island. 127 people. Nice. How far from the mainland is it? Get to the dock by nine, otherwise you'll miss the breeze and you'll have to wait for the bell. Okay, they're living here. Do you need anything else? Any clothes or shoes or anything? <laughs> oh, is his dad super ill? I'm going out. Out where? I'm meeting Uker at the marina. Do you want to say hi to dad? Ed, Riley wants to say hi. He didn't hear me, but he says hi. No trouble. Be back by curfew. God. And for Jesus' sake, Warren, no drinking. Tomorrow. Can't trust teenagers. Is that... It sounds like Neil Diamond. But I don't know this song. Hey! See? Some of the same people. So I'm feeling... Late 70s, maybe? Did they just spell mass with a four? Really? What's in that box? A body? Have you seen him yet? <laughs> no, not yet. Who were we here for? Hey guys! I'm surprised your dad let you out. If I want to go out, I go out. There he is. Hey, do you got the, the beard? The, the cash around. Drugs first? Jesus. Weed? Uh, he's, he's cool. He, he can't help who his dad is. We had a deal. Oh, his dad's a cop. Fuck my dad. Fuck them all. Fuck the sheriff. He's the sheriff of the How island. How about now? 
You're not gonna tell, right? I said I wouldn't. Hey, Lisa. Up to no good, I can tell. I'm just going for a ride. Do you want to come to the party? Trip. I wish you could come with us. I'm good. Long oh, she's in a wheelchair. Okay. She'll be walking when she goes to that midnight mass. I like, I like the set. I like that it's on an island for some reason. My brain is like, yeah, I like that. I don't know why. It feels cozy, but also cut off. What is in this? This looks big enough to hold a body. Yeah, you tapping it doesn't make me feel any better. There's somebody knocking from inside. Did we smuggle somebody onto the island? Hey, if we flip, don't I get your foot under the seat, you're a drowned. Where the hell are they going? At this time of night? Maybe they're going to a different island. The party island. Are they going to get one-eyed Willie's treasure? You guys see that? Heron or a monster pelican? He's huge. He so said the word monster. Well, somebody's got to do something about these strays. Freaking cats. It used to be this bad, but it's an army now. You know my brother Bobby? He used to tell us that the uppers was haunted. Yeah, uh, Harpoon Harry. Harpoon Harry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love that all the cats in the background, you can see their eyes. I can hear them. It's very spooky. Shit, they're fighting. No. They're fucking. Aw, oh, jeez. <laughs> Shit. Warren? Is, was that a cat or fuck? something else? I thought I saw something. Freaking demon. With cat's eyes. Looking at them. Where did they go? They took off on a boat. It must be like a smaller island or something. Or a different part of the island? I don't know. How big is the island? It looked small to me. Here he comes. You are his dad, Warren. They're on the boat. He, he just can't miss a shift. Yep, your dad hates you. But let's get you home. Who's she? Is she gonna get her supply of drugs too? Monsignor Pruitt was supposed to be on board. You didn't see him? He's not easy to miss. Where's the priest? Maybe I just uh, lost him in the crowd. Yeah, he's not on it. Okay, here we go. Hmm. Hi there. Oh, where? And that's the oh, she was in um, Hill House. Hi, little foot. They've got a very advanced it's setup exactly here. Exactly where I want it to be at 20 weeks. What are we looking at? Ah. Uh. I guess he's home. Peggy? Is that you, Peg? Oh. <laughs> Peggy's daughter, Erin Green. Do you remember Erin Green? Hi, Mrs. Gunning. My room is upstairs. No, Ma. No more stairs. Not for a year now. They've definitely aged somebody up. You know, it's not somebody of that age. <laughs> I'll stop doing that. Oh, who's that person? Hey, Dougie. Morning, Sheriff. Hey. Hey! Morning, I'll, be in a <laughs> I'll stop. Oh, he's the sheriff. That guy's father. Ah. Rise and shine, Joe. Drunk again, Joe. You want some coffee? What'd I do this time? What did you do to me, Sheriff? Sheriff. You lock me up? <laughs> you said you're being followed by a giant albatross. Ooh. Huh? That, that could be true. <laughs> Easy, big fella, easy. Hello. He doesn't like Snapped her. At me. Just passing by. Mike didn't snap. Sometimes, mostly just to say hello. He's just big yeah, as all. Good he dog. Just sounds bigger than he means to. Snapped. Thought he might have a go at my hand. If mm, I maybe you're a witch. Down. Look at the broom. I'm telling you, Sheriff, it's a menace. Sir. Hey, what's that, Beverly? Beverly the witch. Get your broom. Later, Sheriff. Take care, Joe. See you soon. See you tonight. The Millers went last year. But I'm doing. I don't think anyone's trying to sell anymore. They just they're just leaving. Left. You don't know what it's like these days. You can only fish certain spots, certain days, crab certain spots. Hey, it's the nineties. It's the nineties. There's a poster of Gillian Anderson on his wall, right? I thought it was the seventies. It's the nineties. At least the nineties. And I'm so, see, I'm really enjoying this first episode, but I would be enjoying it even more if I wasn't constantly babbling about, oh, there's that person from Hill House, there's that person from Bly Manor. 
we got the housekeeping duo from Hill House. We got the father from Hill House. We got one of the daughters from Hill House. So far, we got the British guy from Bly Manor. And, uh, yeah, that's it so far. Yeah, all the kids are new. This guy's new. She's new. And we haven't met the... There's a priest coming or something? On the boat? And the boat takes an hour and ten minutes to go from the island to wherever it's coming from. I presume the mainland. The mainland of where? Well, I don't know what coast or what state. But that's not too bad, you know? I'm not going to say that's rowable in an emergency, but it's probably rowable in an emergency. In, like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> a day, within a day, on calm waters, start out at dawn. Three years since the spill. The spill? The people on this island. They're all going. We used to be hundreds. Now there's only 120. Now we're just dozens. This isn't a community anymore, honey. It's a ghost. I figured this is the first time Sheriff Hassan has been with us for a storm like this. And Thank you, Mayor. Storm? Um, still looking like he's going to hit us right in the face. Weather services are calling. Shit. Batten down the hatches. And then I'm thinking we make the classrooms available here for shelters. You're new. So you wouldn't be expected to know this, but St. Patrick's is always the shelter. Oh, the church. Apologies, Miss Keene. Wasn't aware. No need to apologize. Um, Bear it in mind for yourself. Unless you plan on hopping a ferry to the mosque, you'll have to hunker down with us. Did too. she just... You'd be so welcome. Thank you. Uh, we'll let everybody know to head to St. Patrick's if uh, things get bad. They know that. Why do people like that exist? I know why they exist on TV, but you know they exist in real life, too. People so full of their own self-importance. I hate it. AA meetings. Part of the deal, condition of my parole. AA Why? meetings. Aaron's back? Mm -hmm. She's only been back a few months. Prodigal daughter. You'll see her tomorrow. In Prodigal back. daughter. Tomorrow. At church. Yeah, we all go to church. At midnight. I wasn't planning on going to church. What? Of course you are. Everybody goes to church on the island. Monsignor Pruitt said before he went on pilgrimage, he said... He's a little old to be traveling. I mean, he's going to be 80 now. Oh, maybe he died. Two weeks in the Holy Land. Oh, he's dead. That's why he never turned up. You going to sit here at this table? After what you've done? That was four years ago. And say, oh, church isn't for me? You were going to church tomorrow, Riley. Die. And every other Sunday, you can consider it a condition of your parole. Shit. <laughs> Living under my roof? <laughs> Oh, the fours. The fours stand in for the A's because they ran out of A's because they're on an island. They couldn't smuggle them in. Monsignor! Welcome back. Uh, I waited for you oh, the this box. morning. The box. You weren't on the breeze. I forgot about the box. Hello. Oh. <clears throat> oh, a cat. Ooh, a dead cat. Uh, run for a kitty. You're not gonna like what's in the growth. Oh, kitty. There's a monster. On the other island, or the other side of this island, I don't know. Somewhere. Cat island. So church isn't for you, huh? No, it's not for me. You should sit back then. During communion, that's proper. That'll upset your mother. You not taking the sacrament, but wouldn't be respectful if you did. Okay. Just take it anyway. Okay. Don't tell anybody that you don't believe in it. Good night. <laughs> Fathers and sons. I don't want to hear you texting. I can hear you texting. Kiss your mother. Is your mother dead? Wait a second, this kid's got a smartphone. It's current, it's contemporary. I was, I was all sorts of wrong. Oh, 
Ah, he's sneaking out. Like brother, like brother. I love how my guesses for the year have <laughs> just shot up. Oh, he's, does he still see her? Yep. Yep. I was ready for it that time. Can't get me twice. None of them ready for it. Meanwhile, the ocean. Why is there blood on this church wall? I'll just put all that down to vision stuff. I won't read too much into it. Are we gonna have a new priest? Is that who she meant last night? Whoever just walked in? He didn't look 80 years old. Whoop. They used to be a thing. But now she's pregnant with somebody else's baby. Although I don't see the father around. Hey, if somebody knew. Everybody stopped singing. Now, do we recognize this guy? Oh. Good morning. I do, but he's I not know from... I'm not who you expected to see this morning. He's not from Hill. I'm Father yes. Paul Hill. I Hill. I to fill in for Monsignor Pruitt. He's recovering in a hospital on the mainland. Is he's he? better off off-island. He's dead. Well, you are not losing your pastor, I can promise you that. Oh, all right. He seems nice. Just I don't know, trust him. I'm... And I look forward to meeting you all. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. Gave the cup to this is very Catholic, by the way. Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. Yeah. Blood of Christ. Body of Christ. I, ne I never drank any wine, though. And he can't, because he's AA. It's the blood of Christ. It's not alcohol. Don't worry about it. Well, I met him last night. Of course. Yeah, what is Catholic? We had a lot to talk about. Just <laughs> Lisa Scarborough. Monsignor has told me all about you. He says I'll see you at daily mass. Father. Ooh, daily. Wade Scarborough, my wife Dolly. Welcome to the pot. What's left of it anyway? And I noticed you sat back for communion. Whoop. I got rather busted. Quiet, didn't it? Busted. He's not exactly in a state of grace right now. Look, I think that's great. Mm. Uh, Jesus, uh, he seemed to go straight for those folks who weren't in a state of grace. Yeah. They were the ones he called friends. We can work with that. Great. If I didn't expect that, suspect that this guy is like a, a monster and it's going to turn into some sort of ritualistic sacrifice place with him as the head demon, I'd be like, this guy is the best priest ever. You know, just a normal priest, but you know, a good guy. Very approachable, very likable immediately, unlike... Mrs. Mrs. We all we all go to the church for the storms. Everybody knows that. And why don't you just go to your mosque, sheriff? <laughs> or what did the other guy call him, Sharif? Anyway, what was I gonna say? Yeah, I'm not very religious, but this seems nice. You know, I can I I get I get I get religion. You know, I get the. how useful it is and how it can help this guy for instance you know who's feeling like his life is kind of half ruined you know and he's not feeling particularly graceful or anything you know I think it's like much better than a AA support meeting probably just having somebody to talk to and will listen to you like through not just just confession but like going to a church and having a conversation with somebody who is whose job is basically just to listen to you and be helpful, you know? So, yeah, I'm very positive about this today for some reason. So, <laughs> I'm enjoying this first episode a lot. It's got so many famous people. I don't know who they are or where I know them from, but like... The cast is jam-packed full of people that I sort of half recognize from other things. So I'm 
yeah, I'm looking forward to the show now. I wasn't sure, I wasn't sure coming in, but I'm sure now. And like, oh, there's cats, cats getting eaten on Cat Island. And it's a, I, apparently, I have no idea what year it is, so. Prodigal son. You're the prodigal one. I'm just the black sheep. Hmm. Can I walk you home? Let's walk. What's she looking at? You look elsewhere. You look into the forest. You go to Cat Island, Mrs. When you this is beautiful. ran away, it was a subject of a lot of debate. I went south. I went west. Hmm. Look at us, back where we started. The one place we swore we'd never end up. The island. Married? No. No. You? Who's the yeah. father? I mean, technically. It, but it's over. It, where is he? What's he doing? Did you kill him? Why is there an upturned boat behind us? And you're pregnant. Yeah, I am. Hey, is this all being one shot? Littlefoot saved my life. I like that scene. Even though I wasn't paying attention to it. Is there anything else you need this afternoon, Father? Oh, a ritual no. sacrifice, please. No, thank you, Mr. A cat. I'd like to eat a cat. Shouldn't it be green today? We're in ordinary time. It's She's a stickler. I'm glad you're here. Well, thank you. And likewise. How are you, Riley? I just exist. Mm. No. That's it. I have absolutely no purpose at all. I think he'll find purpose soon. When the priest starts slaughtering people. Good idea. That thing could blow. As long as we have boats coming and going, we're okay. As long as the storm doesn't last too long. No, we're protecting the doors and windows. How bad could it get? I like storms. We never get ones like this, though. Oh. Just your imagination, dude. I swear he's out there just walking on the beach. I'm not seeing anything. I don't see him. Do you know? I swear it's the hat. No, he's on the mainland. The old priest? Oh, he went out. Oh, he's quick. He's agile. He's gone. Maybe that's the thing that's killing cats. Well, we all survived. Just the spooky apparition in the on the beach, and a whole lot of cleanup to do. Are we gonna see anything weird? What are you looking at? Dad, who's that? Something on the beach. Um. What the hell? Oh, they're cats! It's a whole bunch of cats! Oh, that's creepy. All along the shoreline. Remember the kid was saying they all wash up next to their house? Like, just on the beach where they live? Anything that dies and, you know, gets... <laughs> Hey, it's a good start. I like this first episode. Very um, atmospheric. I like the characters that they're building. I like that we got to know almost everybody on the island. All the main players, I presume. And little idiosyncrasies like that woman that I hate. The new priest who who I'm in immediately suspicious of. Like, who else are you going to be suspicious of? The new person, obviously. Uh, we got the sheriff and his son. We got our main little family. We got the pregnant lady who is his... the, the prison guy's um, one true love. And six more episodes to build a story and give us something spooky 
Oh, geez, that scene at during the storm on the beach with the like it seemed like a there was no there's no way an eighty year old moves like that, you know? Can outpace that guy. It was very spooky. Without being a jump scare. There were two jump scares, at least in this episode. The first one got me good. The second one I was prepared for, but the first one came out of nowhere. Uh, very weird as well with the, the flashing lights. Makes sense, you know. Because it was a car crash. Um, but I love the vibe. I love the island. I love... I kind of want to live there, you know? In a way. In another way, I'd probably hate it there. Especially if they didn't have internet access. But that kid was on his phone. Like, I presume maybe they do. Have some sort of coverage. Maybe via satellite. Uh, and they got TVs. And they got power. It's fascinating. Do you know? And the mother is talking about how people are moving away gradually. You know, it used to be a thriving island of hundreds of people. And now we're down to dozens. But I don't know, there seemed to be a good, good number of people there. And a lot of people turned up to, to mass. I thought there'd be what more would happen during the storm. I thought everybody would have to gather together somewhere. But we basically skipped over all of that and just focused on what our main guy... I, I gotta learn his name. I'm gonna look it up right now. Because I, I haven't learned any of the names, really. Oh, that woman I hate. She was in Hill House. She was the wife of the oldest brother, whatever his name was. That's where I know her from. Anyway, um, yeah, Riley. Riley's his name. And now that I've learned his name, I have nothing to say. <laughs> He's feeling a bit lost. You know, he went to the mainland. He briefly made it lots of money. Then he threw his life away, became a drunk, had a crash, went to prison and didn't find God. And now he's back in his old family home with his X-Files posters and his Seven poster. And he's trying to figure out what to do and who he is and if he can continue. And he still sees the girl every night. And maybe reconnecting with his old flame will help with that. Or maybe the priest will help with that in some way. How all that story fits in is a big question. What's happening with the cats? Uh, just, just It's a spooky island, is he? And I'm looking forward to delving more into it. And I hope it keeps the same feeling from this first episode, because I was really digging it. I really like the way it's shot and I love the feel of the island and the colour and just, just everything about the shots was great. Um, yeah, so I would talk more about it, but I just kind of want to watch more, you know? And when I learn the names better, I will talk more about it. Um good to see so many of the Hill House Bly Manor cast again. Feels like a big family, you know, just doing different parts. But I don't feel distracted by that. You, you might think that, hey, you see all these people, won't you be just saying, oh, they're just this person from Hill House, this person from Bly Manor, and you, you don't feel like they're real characters? That's not how I'm feeling at all. I'm right on board with these new characters that they're playing and not thinking, oh, well, except for that <laughs> the British guy putting on an American accent. There's nothing I'm feeling weird about at the moment. So, yeah, I will see you back here for episode two. Thanks for joining me. And, uh, yeah, if there's any cats in the 
shrubs and they're looking at you? It's probably not paranoia. It's probably not the weed. You probably should just get out of there. Because there could be something in, in the bushes eating cats. And you don't want to find out what that is. No way. Get on the boat. Back to the mainland. It's only an hour and ten minutes. You know? get Go to New York City. Make a life for yourself. Right. I'll see you next time.